Jack Mitchell, welcome. We've been hearing from, from Aaron, his thoughts about the progress the team is making. Um, but on a personal level, since you joined the championship in, uh, at Alton Park, what have you learnt and what have you experienced? I think for me, obviously, growing up watching the Touring Car Championship, the, um, I've always seen the race craft. It's a little bit more door-to-door -door action than I've been used to. So to actually be in the mix of it is a bit, an, a bit of an eye-opener for me. Obviously, I've come from GTs before where everyone's a little bit more respectful, gives room, where obviously in this championship it's uh, a lot to learn first time out at Autumn Park. But each round I've been getting better, getting in the mix of it all, and uh, like race, taking it race by race, I'm learning more and more. And like Aaron said earlier, with the team, we're working together, it's a new car for us this year, it's a new car for me. So each round we're trying things, improving. A few tests last weekend at Brown Satch, again, making a big improvement for this weekend. And uh, I feel like coming into Croft, it's another circuit I haven't been to since juniors. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot to learn this weekend, but I've got a good uh, bunch of teammates with me who I can learn off, who've been here before. And I feel like we're in a strong place. I'm feeling confident that I'm going to go up that order a little bit more and hopefully fighting for some points position, yeah. and uh, which we haven't been there yet. But fingers crossed, it's uh, looking, looking So when positive. you talk about the driving standards compared to GT racing, you're just saying it's a different kind of driving standard. It's, yeah, it's a lot more full on than uh, right. it's quite intense. Being yeah, the GTs, it's uh, <laughs> usually I'll do the second since so you come out the pits and there could be a 10 second gap front or behind to you. But I've seen this. Back to sprint racing again, which I've been used, I haven't been done since the uh, the Clear Cup or Ginetta Juniors. So it's good to be back, and uh, I've been really enjoying the weekends. And uh, it's just nice to be back on a Toka package. Really, it's uh, I kind of forgot how much I've missed it, and uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying every moment and taking it all in. Yeah, you mentioned Ginetta Juniors, and we go back to 2014 when uh, you, you won Ginetta Juniors in 2014, beating the likes of Senna Proctor and beating the likes of Lando Norris. Uh, as sure well. what's happened to him, but yeah, do you, <laughs> do you often think, hang on a second, you know, maybe I've got some catching up to do? Um, no, I think with uh, the case with Lando, when he came onto the scene, it was his first year in cars, and you, you knew from the get go that he was going to be going far, and. Uh, he always had that F1 route set out for him. That was where he wanted to go. But as me and our family, we knew that was always out of reach. So we always set on for maybe do, at the time doing the touring cars. And then obviously it, not always things happen and we ended up doing GTs. But like with Senna Proctor, he was the same thing. He knew he wanted to go touring cars. So he's had the last couple of years getting up to speed. And as you can see now, he's doing a really good job this year. He's coming late to the championship in round two, but the pace he's got at the moment is unbelievable. And uh, obviously that's where I strive to be. And uh, a lot of the people on the grid I've raced against in the past. So I know I can be a little bit further up the grid and in the mix a bit more. But obviously everything takes time. Everyone's up to speed in their cars. And uh, it's a tough championship to be involved with. And uh, it was definitely a lot harder than I was expecting, but that's what I'm here. I'm here to learn and uh, here to improve, and uh, I'm just here to enjoy the journey and um, yeah, just keep everyone happy and uh, enjoy it. Yeah, and you've still got career targets, I'm sure. Uh, do you feel that your career is now back uh, moving forward and sort of back on schedule? Yeah, to some extent, yeah. Obviously, the GT route was a kind of different pathway, and we got to a certain point where things really weren't going our way. We wasn't getting as much back as we'd hoped for, and... Um, Touring cars is always kind of that other option you could go to, and it's always something I've wanted to do. And I kind of see it as like it's another string to my bow. It's another type of driving, another another car I can add to the cars I've driven, and um, I, like, I quite like a challenge. And uh, it's just nice to have something fresh and new, and uh, so I can kind of get my teeth into and work hard at it, which uh, me and the team have been doing over the last couple of weeks. So I'm just hoping this weekend is a turning point for me, and we can get them points and a few higher up in the order. Good. We wish you the best, and it'll always be on your CV you beat Lando Norris to the championship title yeah, in 2014. Not a bad CV but uh, <laughs> I wish I'd finished third that year because he's gone on to do great things but um, I'm still doing well and uh, good, good luck to him right. he deserves it. Jack thanks very Thank much. Thank you.